Hey there. Today I'm going to show you how to draw Luigi from Mario Brothers. So we're going to start in the center of his face with his nose. We're going to start with a circle, starting at the very top. We're going to work our way around, and then back up to the top again. Now from here we're going to work our way to the left eye, and in here we're going to draw a big oval. So his head's going to be slanted this way. We're going to start with an oval on the inside, going up to the top, and then back down again, tucked in underneath that nose. We're going to draw the same thing on the right side. So starting right at the same spot, going up and around and back into the side of the nose. Let's draw in the pupils. So up here we're going to draw a smaller oval. So starting on the inside, go up and then again, tucking that in behind the nose. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now from here we're going to just draw just a smaller oval. So we're going to start on the inside here going up, and then back down, do the same thing on the right side. We'll draw a little highlight circle on the top left of both pupils, and we'll color in the bottom area in black. All right, so now we've got the eyes, let's get into the nose, uh, let's get into the uh, mustache. So on the side of the nose, on either side, we're gonna curve up the side of the mustache. Now these are going to come in towards the middle, but it's not going to be touching the nose. We're going to leave a little bit of a gap here. So I'm going to start on the side on the left, curve up towards the middle center of the nose, but leaving a gap. And then again, we're going to go to the right side and curl the mustache up on the right. Let's draw on the mouth. So the mouth gets tucked in underneath the mustache. So starting on the left, we're going to come down with a curve and back up on the right. Let's draw on some teeth, we'll draw a little curve like this. And then for the tongue, we'll just draw a curve like that. Let's draw on the bottom of the jaw. So underneath this mustache, we're going to draw in a curve for the bottom chin. All right, now from here, let's go up to the side of the head. So on the side of the mustache, so the tip of the mustache, we're going to curve this up towards the side of the head. So we're curving up just beside the eyes on both sides. Now from here, I'm going to curve and overlap the hat. So this is going to be a curve that goes up and then down on the right side. And we're going to have to make some room for the eyebrows. So on either side, I'm just going to draw a curve, and I'm going to thicken that up in the center, like so. So curving over the eye, and then drawing it thick in the center, and tapering off on the sides. From here, seeing how we've overlapped the hat on top of the face, we're just going to draw a curve like this. This is for the sideburns, and then we're going to draw in some ears. So on either side, we're going to draw a curve that comes out on either side of the head. And we'll draw a little bit of ear detail. So I'm just going to draw a little hook along the top edge, like so. Let's draw some hat detail. So we're going to draw the brim first. So see where the side of the face is. We're going to take these two points, curve up along the top. So let's draw the brim going up along the top and back down on the right side. And then from here, we're going to draw in the large part of the hat. And the hat is quite big and it's, it's basically round. We start just above the ear, go up to the top of the hat and curve back down on the same side above the right ear, just like so. Let's draw on the symbol. So the L symbol, basically a circle in the middle, starting at the top and back up again. And we're going to draw a block letter L. So starting on the side, go down, we'll go across. And on either end, I'm just going to go in just a little bit and then connect in the inside. Okay, so we've got the face, let's get into the body. So I'm going to have him sort of cheering one arm up, one arm down. We're going to start with the arm on the upper side. So on the left, we're going to have this arm coming up. So I'm going to start where the hand would be. So the hand's going to be here. I'm just going to curve from the wrist into the head. And that's, a, that's basically our starting point. Now I'm going to go in and start drawing in the hand. So let's draw the cuff of the glove. It's essentially an oval, but I'm going to leave the top part open. So just curving around like that. From here, I'm going to go into the thumb. So here, I'm going to curve and round out the thumb. Let's go on the opposite side from here, overlapping and drawing in one finger. So I'm just going to curl this all the way around like that. And we're going to do a series of overlaps. So going to this finger, curling around for one finger. This one's going to get tucked in behind the thumb. And then finally, the index finger gets tucked in like so. We're going to make this arm thicker, so we're going to come down towards the armpit. So coming over to the side here and pulling this into right about there. We can adjust that if we need to later on. Let's get into the other arm. So here, this arm is going to come down. 
So starting beside the head here, I'm going to curve around and down to the wrist. From here, I'm going to go back up here towards the armpit and make that arm twice as thick. From here, I'm going to just do an overlapping line so the glove is sort of wrapped around the arm. So let's go around here onto the left side and I'm going to curve around, kind of like a C. And then on the right side, I'm doing like a backward C. Let's get into the thumb. So up here, I'm going to curve in. And up here, we're just going to create a little bracket. This is where the thumb meets the index finger. I'm going to go back up here. I'm just going to wrap the first finger around. And then again, doing a series of overlaps. So two, three, and then the fourth finger, we're just going to pull this right into the wrist. We'll draw three little lines like this for the glove. Now let's get into the body. So the body, I'm going to have this left leg up, this leg is sort of backwards, so he's kind of like running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to his shoulder here and curve around like this. So it's kind of a, a wave that goes to the leg. This side, I'm going to start up here and curve out and then bring it down towards the other leg. So this leg being up, this leg is going down. So from here, I'm going to draw the leg going up into a bend. So I'm just going to do an overlap here, go up and then back down. This is the knee. Let's draw the cuff of the shoe and the boot like this. So this is the cuff of the boot tucked into the pant. Here we're going to curve this up like that. We're going to start by drawing in the shoe first before we get into the rest of the body. So here, let's draw the back of the heel, a little curve like this. And now for this foot, we're just going to keep it simple. We're going to do like an oval for the bottom of the foot. So you can see the bottom edge of his foot. So we'll do a little oval. And because it's pointing that way, we want to show a little perspective on the heel. So we're just going to draw a little line like that. From the toe, I'm just going to curve this up and over like so. If you want, we can make the sole a little bit thicker. So we'll just double up the bottom edge of his foot. Now let's get into the other leg. So this leg, we're going to see the top part of his thigh. So what we want to do is imagine this body, kind of like a pear shape, continuing on. So we're going to start here and just pull that like this. Okay, so it's almost like a pear shape with an opening right here for the leg. Here, I'm just going to pull a line like that. Okay, so this is the inner part of his thigh. From here, I'm going to start probably right about here and just pull this line around that line and back up like this. So this line is actually going around the inner part of the thigh. For the foot, I'm just going to start back here. And again, a very simple foot, drawing a curve for the top of the shoe and then probably thickening that up along the edge where the sole is and then tucking it underneath there. Let's get into some detail here. So right in the middle of his belly, I'm draw a little curve like this, and I make that twice as wide, two lines, and then down the middle, I'm just going to draw two lines just beside each other, and then we're going to have to draw in the overalls. Let's draw in a circle on the left side, just under the armpit area, and then we're going to draw a little V, so V underneath the here, and then this is going to get tucked in underneath the neck. Here, let's draw a V, we'll tuck this in underneath the chin, and then curve in between to show the overalls and that's pretty much it there's luigi from mario brothers i hope you enjoyed this lesson please give us a like and share this with your friends thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon